Some of these methods will be easy. Some will be hard. But you got to understand, you have to do the work. And it just depends on you and what you can do. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and state the obvious. You can make money off streams, but that's not what you're here for. So let's get into it. First way that you can make money is sell your music directly to your fans or just people that's willing to support you. This is going to require you to do some work, right? You can sell a link. You can have people cash out before. You can sell it off a website. You can do whatever you want. PayPal, whatever, right? You can have people do that or you can go get CDs or USB drives, stand out, go to places where people go, you know what I'm saying? Try to sell hand to hand. It's just like selling CDs out the trunk, out your backpack, stuff like that. But it's like, this is going to require you to do some work though. You got to actually go somewhere. You got to actually talk to people, engage with people, introduce yourself to people. So it just depends on you. So you can sell it for a dollar, five dollars, however much money you want. But you will realize what people are willing to pay for and what they're not willing to pay for. And, you know, that can help you as an artist. Second way that you can make money as a rapper is charge for features. But you got to understand the prices will vary. And charging for features heavily depends on your analytics, like your following, how many streams you get, what you can bring to the table. Like, what would that person get from buying a feature from you? Just because you feel like you should charge a thousand dollars for a feature, but if you haven't made a thousand dollars off your music, off your streams, just on yourself, how can you expect somebody else to pay a thousand? So that goes for the people that's trying to charge two fifty, five hundred. If you haven't made five hundred off your music, how can you expect somebody to pay for it? Because obviously you're not bringing nothing to the table, right? If you don't have a fan base that's really fuck with your music, how can you expect somebody to pay? You know what I'm saying? What value are you bringing besides? being a feature on the song you have to provide value people pay for things that are valuable you know what i'm saying but if you can get it off without having a massive following 50 here 100 here 80 here a thousand go ahead make your money you know what i'm saying do what you do but that's just one thing you got to keep in mind like it's gonna vary on what you can bring to the table third way that you can make money as a rapper is to sell reference songs or write songs for other people this is gonna require you to do a lot of work right if people are hitting you up saying they love your music they wish they can make music like you be like yo i could write you a song for this price you know what i'm saying make sure your prices are reasonable or if you know how to reach out to a and r's or you know people that can shop songs for you write songs get under them and try to sell your songs you know because it's like hey everyone wants to be a rapper but sometimes sometimes for you to get your big chance or your big break as an artist you're probably gonna have to write for somebody else and you gotta be okay with it you know what i'm saying or you might just be comfortable being a writer but listen to be a writer, you have to do the work. You got to be good at making songs, writing songs, catchy songs, whatever, right? You got to be good at it and you got to do the work to find people that's willing to buy songs. So just because you feel like you're a good writer doesn't mean people are going to throw money at you. And the fourth way that you can make money as a rapper is by having some type of membership for your fans or your supporters can come, you know what I'm saying? Pause. But listen, Patreon only fans or you can do discord memberships right you can have people pay to be a part of your server you just got to be able to offer some type of value to them behind the scenes some type of perk that they can get that the normal fans that's not willing to invest can get but you can just make some money that way so like if you want to give people that's a part of your discord community access to like your vocal chains or discounts on features updates whatever chances for features you know what i'm saying song feedback whatever you want to do only fans same thing you know what I'm saying you ain't gotta be having sex on there or whatnot you can just do behind scene content whatever like that or patreon you know what i'm saying that could be an extra income stream i'm not saying you probably would make ten thousand dollars a month some people might you know what i'm saying but that could like help create like another avenue another income stream like you could do private live streams through that right there people can have access you know what i'm saying they can write songs with you they could hear music early get music early or you could sell your product to people that's a part of your patreon you know what i'm saying so it's like it just depends on you but again you have to do the work the way that you can make money as a rapper is to get booked for shows paid shows but this is gonna require you to have some type of buzz you know what I'm saying? Some type of brand, some type of following that people are willing to pay for it. All right. If you can get paid 
like 100, 200, 500 for a show and you can do a couple shows a month, you'll be able to make a little extra money for studio time, gear, to pay some bills, to get some drip. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need to do, marketing. But you got to be able to put in the work to the point to where you get paid for shows, right? You can start out doing shows for free, go to open mics. But then if people start to see you can bring 20, 30 people to the open mics, people are probably going to want to pay you because they can see you can bring out a crowd. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't fill a venue or bring people to a venue, people really aren't going to pay you. You might have a song and get some traffic and go viral in the city. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, you might be able to get some money that way. So, pay attention to your um, analytics, right? So, like, if you got a big following, you get a lot of streams, you get a lot of followers from Houston, you should probably be reaching out to promoters out there to see if you can get booked for a show in Houston. You know what I'm saying? So, analytics are important for more reasons than streaming and marketing. But it's like, if you got a fan base there, you probably want to go there and perform. So, keep that in mind. And the next way... I used to look, and the next way that you can make money as a rapper is to get sync placements. This is like for TV, movie, film, however you want to call it, right? People are always looking for songs. It's a couple of sites and stuff you can go to to submit songs. But again, you can go and look up credits in movies, TV shows, and find the people that's in charge of the music. Try to find their contact information on social media. Hit them up, like LinkedIn. Hit them up, send music. See what they're looking for for shows. Hit them up. If you get a song on there, guess what? You can get some money that way. But you got to understand, you got to have a license to the beat, you got to own the beat, whatever like that. You got to have some type of ownership to it because like just because you download a beat from YouTube and try to send it, chances is they're not going to use it because they don't want to get sued. So you want to make sure you cross your T's and dot all your I's. But again, you have to do the work, you know what I'm saying, to find the people that you can submit songs to. But that's just the way a lot of artists make money. It's people that only make mu- um. Like, there's people that only make music for video games, TV, and film, and stuff like that. So, it's it's possible. And the last way that you can make money as a rapper is to monetize your social media accounts, right? If you can build your Instagram following up, got a lot of engagement, right? Clothing brands and just popular brands might reach out to you for sponsor posts, paid posts. You're making money off that. Instagram Reels. If you're posting Reels, get enough views, you can run that up to get a couple hundred dollars a month or a thousand dollars. I think it go up to like twelve hundred a month. You can get some money like that. If you run up your YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? You can get paid for your streams. You can get paid for the content that you put on YouTube. So you need a thousand subscribers, four thousand watch hours. Same thing for TikTok, like Instagram. You can run that up and get paid. You know what I'm saying? For sponsored posts, maybe ads. I don't know if they show ads on there. But you can get paid. If you on Twitch, streaming on Twitch, you can get Twitch subs. You know what I'm saying? You can get brand deals, sponsors. It's a lot that you can do as an artist, right? You got to think outside of music. Like, music is one income stream. But it's like, okay, you're on social media anyway. You got to figure out a way to get paid. But again, this is going to require you to do some work. So you got to put in the work, build a following, get some good engagement to where people want to pay to get in front of your audience. If I missed any way that you can make money as a rapper, let me know in the comment section below.